Chapter 246, The Evolved Ancient Heavenly Scales Halberd Seeing that Lin Dong chose to stay here, Grand Master Cheng merely glanced at the former in an indifferent manner, and did not say anything more. His finger flicked, as the ancient heavenly scales halberd before him floated up. After which, one could only see a flame suddenly flashed in his eyes, before actually directly penetrating through, and gushing out. Mental Energy Fire As he stared at the almost transparent colored flame hovering before Grand Master Cheng, Lin Dong's heart was jolted. He knew that this was the legendary mental energy fire, the kind of mental energy flame that was born only when mental energy had been condensed to the limit. The main reason why a soul symbol master's attacking power far surpassed an ordinary symbol master was the existence of this mental energy fire. In the face of this kind of mental energy fire, even Yuan power cultivators who had reached the Qi creation stage did not dare to be the slightest bit neglectful. After all, if one was heavily injured by this thing, it was very likely to leave behind an extremely serious residual effect. Mental energy fire did not do much harm to the body, but to the mind, it possessed an exceptionally strong erosion power. After summoning the mental energy fire, Grand Master Cheng's expression slowly turned to one of concentration. His sleeves waved about, as the ball of mental energy fire spread out, wrapping around the ancient heavenly scales halberd. Creek Creek As the mental energy fire gushed forth, the ancient heavenly scales halberd immediately started to tremble violently, and the numerous tiny scales on its body suddenly gave signs of opening up. With respect to this situation, Grand Master Cheng's expression did not change, as he opened his mouth and spit out another ball of mental energy fire, which wrapped around a dark golden metal material. Ch. As it was burned by mental energy fire, the solid metal material gradually started to melt at a slow speed. Some grayish-black impurities dripped down from it, landing on the ground, and corroding tiny holes in it. Lin Dong silently sat in the hall, watching Grand Master Cheng's every move without blinking. As a fellow symbol master, he was able to sense that while the metal material was refined, the latter's mental energy transformed into thousands of strands and poured in, changing the countless tiny bonds. This was an extremely complex work, and only practitioners that possessed powerful mental energy would be able to have such meticulous control. Under Lin Dong's watch, the dark golden metal material was completely transformed into a ball of viscous golden fluid after three whole hours. After this refinement process, Grand Master Cheng's gnarly finger lightly pointed, as the ball of golden liquid sprinkled on the ancient heavenly scales halberd in an extremely well-distributed way. CHCH. As this dark golden liquid was sprinkled on it, the ancient heavenly scales halberd's trembling turned increasingly intense. Under the tempering of mental energy fire, this fluid assimilated into the halberd's body little by little, causing a trace of dark gold to be added to the ancient halberd. Faintly, the halberd's body also seemed to grow longer. After completing this step, Grand Master Cheng once again started to refine the other materials. Towards this repeated actions, Lin Dong did not show even the slightest bit of irritation. His attentive look was like a studious disciple, as he took in Grand Master Cheng's every little movement. This continuous refining of materials lasted for an entire day. Over this period of time, Lin Dong did not close his eyes at all. After training to his level, even ten days without sleeping was nothing much. His strong body was enough to deal with the tiredness normal people felt. On the second night, the last material was melted into liquid, and adhered to the ancient heavenly scales halberd. The current ancient heavenly scales halberd seemed a little multicolored, a vastly different look than its original scarlet color. Every part had a different color, and this was because the refining had yet to be complete. Phew! After the last material was refined, Grand Master Cheng sighed in relief. He looked at Lin Dong, and casually said, I will first rest once before starting the final step. During this step, I will blend the various characteristics of these rare materials into the ancient halberd. If I succeed, your ancient halberd will become a high-grade soul treasure, but if the fusion fails, the original structure will be destroyed, 
and this ancient halberd will be no more. Upon hearing these words, Lin Dong's heart clenched tightly, as he heavily nodded his head. After saying this, Grand Master Cheng straight away closed his eyes, resting this way for five whole hours before finally opening his eyes again. Currently, his mental energy had mostly recovered. His expression slowly turned solemn, as he opened his mouth, an extremely vigorous mental energy gushed forth, wrapping around the now colorful ancient heavenly scales halberd. Boom boom! Wave after wave of heat spread out in the hall. This heat wave was very strange, it clearly did not give off the feeling of being overly hot, but it caused one to feel as if one was in an oven. Mental energy gushed out from Lin Dong's Nguyen Palace, and completely covered his body, as the unusual heat wave dissipated into nothingness. His unwavering gaze was fixed on the ancient heavenly scales halberd that was wrapped in the raging mental energy fire. He knew, that this was the most crucial moment. Creek. Faced with the mental energy fire that had suddenly become much fiercer than before, wisps of green smoke actually started rising from the ancient heavenly scales halberd. The numerous liquids that adhered to the surface of the ancient halberd also began to boil, and were forced by the mental energy fire to continuously invade the interior of the ancient halberd. Buzz. As the characteristics of these metal materials invaded the interior of the ancient halberd, the balance between them seemed to be broken. The halberd frantically shook, faintly emitting a buzzing sound. Rays of dazzling light also burst out from the ancient halberd, the formidable light violently shooting towards the hall, while filled with tyrannical destructive power. Humph! Feeling the resistance from the ancient halberd, Grand Master Cheng snorted. A portion of powerful mental energy rushed forth, transforming into a mental energy prison, which bounded up the area a dozen meters around the ancient heavenly scales halberd. When the rays shot onto the mental energy prison, they caused several ripples to form, which quickly dissipated. You better fuse for me. Grand Master Cheng's expression turned serious, and soon after, his huge hand suddenly clenched as the mental energy fire around the ancient heavenly scales halberd abruptly shrunk. Ch. As the mental energy fire abruptly shrunk, all of the metal liquid on the ancient halberd was directly pushed into the ancient halberd. A resplendent ray instantly shot out from the ancient heavenly scales halberd, penetrating the surrounding mental energy prison, and leaving behind a deep black hole in the ground. Such a tyrannical soul treasure! Upon seeing this scene, astonishment flashed across Grand Master Cheng's eyes. Soon after, his huge hand grabbed in the air, as an invisible large mental energy hand firmly grabbed onto the ancient halberd which was giving off resplendent light. Lin Dong was incomparably nervous as he stared at the struggling ancient heavenly scales halberd in Grand Master Cheng's hand. He was faintly able to see that as the light rushed out. The ancient heavenly scales halberd's shape seemed to undergo tiny changes, while its formidable aura also grew increasingly dense. Buzz buzz. Urgent buzzing noises were endlessly emitted by the ancient heavenly scales halberd. Later on, that buzzing sound seemed to gradually evolve into an extremely low and unique dragon's cry. That cry quietly resounded in the hall, causing Lin Dong's and Grand Master Cheng's expressions to change. The former was pleasantly surprised, while the latter was shocked, he clearly did not expect that this ancient halberd would actually be able to emit the legendary cry of a mythological beast. Swish! While Grand Master Cheng was shocked, the light on the ancient heavenly scales halberd grew even brighter, and directly blew up the huge mental energy hand. An extremely formidable light burst forth, directly shattering the hall ceiling to bits. Come here! Lin Dong hastily beckoned, and the resplendent ray of light flew over, before finally extremely obediently appearing in his hand. Lin Dong held the ancient heavenly scales halberd and heavily stamped on the ground. The light on it slowly weakened, and when he looked at it, a breathtaking look instantly appeared in his eyes. Compared to before the refining, the ancient heavenly scales halberd was now even longer and the tiny scales on the halberd's body now leaned towards a heavy and dark gold color. However, what mainly caused Lin Dong's pupils to shrink, was that the arrangement of the scales seemed to faintly form the shape of a dragon, 
and looked extremely mystical. At the tip of the halberd, two sharp points extended at an angle from the left and right. A cold light seemed to flash between, giving it a sinister and bloodthirsty look, like that of a huge dragon's maw that could swallow the world. Its presence was astonishing indeed. Excellent. Lin Dong fondled the ancient heavenly scales halberd admiringly, as delight bubbled up in his eyes. The current ancient heavenly scales halberd was several times stronger than before. According to Lin Dong's guess, even when compared to Wang Yan's great Luo Golden Spear, the ancient heavenly scales halberd would not give way in the slightest. Truly a great soul treasure. While Lin Dong lovingly fiddled with the ancient heavenly scales halberd, the tightly shut hall door was suddenly pushed open. A figure walked in, passionately staring at the ancient halberd in Lin Dong's hands, while intense greed swirled in his eyes. The person who had suddenly barged in caused Lin Dong's and Grandmaster Cheng's expressions to change. As cast their gazes over, their expressions darkened. Hua Zong. Staring at the person who had barged in, Lin Dong's expression sunk a little. This person actually turned out to be the ghastly puppet cult's Hua Zong. Chapter 247, A Complication As he stared at Hua Zong, who had suddenly barged in, Lin Dong's eyes sunk. However, even before he could speak up, that Grand Master Chen immediately shouted out angrily, Hua Zong, do you not know the rules? This is my thousand treasure tower and it does not belong to your ghastly puppet cult. When he heard Grandmaster Chen's enraged words, that Hua Zong merely laughed. Then, without a trace of sincerity, he cupped his hands at Grandmaster Cheng before he smiled and said, Ha ha, my apologizes. I heard a loud commotion and I was unable to suppress the curiosity in my heart. Therefore, I intruded into your building. I hope that Grandmaster Chen can understand. With regards to his insincere words, that Grand Master Chen was still fuming with rage. Then, he coldly said, Please leave now. In the future, if you break my thousand treasure towers rules again, even if your father is an elder of ghastly puppet cult, I will include you in my thousand treasure tower blacklist. Evidently, that Grand Master Chen was extremely outraged by Hua Zong's actions. If it were not for the fact that the latter had an extraordinary background, he would have likely slapped him already. Nonetheless, currently, his position was hardly better. With regards to Grandmaster Chen's attitude, that Hua Zong simply laughed as he did not mind it at all. Then, his eyes stared fervently at the ancient scale's heavenly halberd in Lin Dong's hands. Hidden deep within his eyes, was a greedy glint. Finally, he cupped his fists towards the two of them, before he slowly exited. Bang. When he saw Hua Zong exit, that Grand Master Chen waved his sleeves before he solidly shut the door. As he stared that closed door, Lin Dong's eyes glimmered gently. He had never expected that Hua Zong actually dared to barge into this place. Furthermore, based on the greedy glint in the latter's eyes, he knew that he would definitely encounter some trouble. Your ancient halberd has been successfully refined. This business transaction is completed, Grand Master Chen turned to look at Lin Dong, before he casually said. Furthermore, I should warn you. Leave Great Puppet City as soon as possible. Lin Dong gently nodded his head, before he cupped his hands and thanked Grand Master Chen. Then, he kept his ancient heavenly scales halberd in his Qunkin bag, before he immediately turned and left. Usually, when they were refining a soul treasure, the Thousand Treasure Tower would prohibit anyone from entering, in order to avoid drawing attention from others. However, this time around, that Hua Zong actually forcefully barged in. Hence, Thousand Treasure Tower should be somewhat responsible as well. Of course, if it were an ordinary individual that barged in, perhaps the Thousand Treasure Tower would make an example out of him. However, this Hua Zong was no ordinary individual. This person was not only a custodian of ghastly puppet cult, but his father was also an elder of ghastly puppet cult. Therefore, he possessed tremendous influence and even the thousand treasure tower could not afford to offend him. Hence, 
this matter could only be ultimately resolved by Lin Dong. As he stared at Lin Dong's back, that Grand Master Chen softly sighed. Though he was extremely outraged by Hua Zong's actions, his hands were tied. After all, the latter's background was simply too overwhelming. Lin Dong's face was calm as he walked out of the large hall. As he walked along the corridors, just as he reached the end of the corridor, he expectedly saw several figures standing guard there. One of them was indeed Hua Zong. When Lin Dong saw Hua Zong, a smile surfaced on the latter's feminine face. Then, he brought along two subordinates before he quickly walked forward and said with a smile, My friend, they say that it takes a fight to get to know each other. I must admit that our small contest at the auction house was pretty satisfying. My name is Hua Zong and I am the custodian of Ghastly Puppet Sect in Great Puppet City. May I know what your name is? Lin Dong Lin Dong glanced at this fellow, who had a fake smile plastered on his face, before he replied calmly. Even though he had removed his bamboo hat, evidently that Hua Zong was still able to identify him through other means. Haha, so you are Lin Dong brother. Hua Zong smiled before his eyes gradually concentrated on Lin Dong's body. With a smile, he said, that spirit accumulation praying mat should have quite a few wonderful properties. However, since Lin Dong brother was interested in it, I was naturally not going to snatch it away. Previously, I coincidentally saw that Lin Dong brother had refined quite a formidable weapon. Haha, <laughs> right now, I lack a weapon myself. If Lin Dong brother is willing to part with it, I will be sure to give you a satisfactory price. After hearing his words, Lin Dong's expression did not change at all. Evidently, he had expected the latter's words. Immediately, he casually replied, I am not selling. Kid, it's a blessing that my young master is willing to buy something from you. Don't fail to appreciate his kindness. When he saw Lin Dong's reply, a hideous middle-aged man standing beside Hua Zong instantly coldly chuckled. Hey, Hua San, be polite. Lin Dong brother is still considering. Standing aside, the smile on Hua Zong's feminine face intensified before he retorted that middle-aged man. Am I right? Lin Dong brother. After he spoke, he once again looked at Lin Dong. However, the smile on his face felt like a menacing knife. Lin Dong stared at Hua Zong. Right now, this fellow ahead of him seemed just like a poisonous smiling python and it made him feel extremely uncomfortable and disgusted. Since you really want to buy my weapon, all right then. I will give you a discounted price, 3 million pure yuan pills. Staring at Hua Zong, a smile suddenly emerged on Lin Dong's lips as he said. When he heard Lin Dong's words, a tinge of shock flashed across Hua Zong's eyes. However, before that tinge of shock could spread across his face, the smile on his face similarly froze. Three million pure yuan pills. The two men standing beside Hua Zong were also evidently shocked by that price, as they stared at Lin Dong as if he was a madman. Three million pure yuan pills. That sum was enough for one to buy earthly soul treasures and manifestation level martial arts. Haha, <laughs> it seems like Lin Dong brother does not want to befriend me. The smile on Hua Zong's face froze, before it gradually weakened. A cold intent was hidden amongst his casual laughter. After all, everyone knew that Lin Dong was evidently fooling around with him by asking for such an exorbitant sum. If you think that it is too expensive, then forget about it. Lin Dong waved his hands as he stared at Hua Zong's frozen facial expression. Then, he felt somewhat satisfied inside his heart. After all, he really disliked his fellow. After he spoke, he took a sidestep before he tried to walk around Hua Zong. However, a cold glint flashed across the latter's eyes, before the two middle-aged men beside him immediately stepped out. With a cold glint in their eyes, waves of icy cold mental energy began to gradually emerge from their bodies. So what now? Are you going to rob me? When he saw this situation, Lin Dong's eyes twinkled as he coldly chuckled. Lin Dong brother, I do not wish to complicate this matter. After all, 
who doesn't want to have an additional friend instead of an enemy. How about this, I will offer you 150,000 pure yuan pills to buy the ancient halberd in your possession. Furthermore, in the future, if you encounter any problems in Great Puppet City, you can count on me. Hua Zong placed his hands at his back, as he casually spoke. 150,000. Lin Dong chuckled. Dot that fellow is truly a scammer. Even if he auctioned his ancient heavenly scales halberd, it would definitely fetch a much higher price. I am not interested. After he casually replied, Lin Dong chose to ignore that fellow. As he took another step forth, the two middle aged men coldly snorted. They were just like two giant obstructing walls filled with powerful mental energy, as they viciously charged. However, even as he faced their forceful obstructing attack, Lin Dong did not show any sign of retreating. With a cold glint in his eyes, an extremely vicious mental energy shockwave suddenly gushed out from within his Nguyen Palace. Boom! The three of their bodies solidly slammed together, before a tiny mental energy shockwave emerged from the epicenter. Then the surrounding crowd were all stunned as they saw the two muscular middle-aged men directly blown away. Then, they slammed on the ground and left a several dozen meters long mark on the ground, before they finally slammed against a pillar inside the large hall. Lin Dong was calm as his hand gently flicked across his clothes. During that previous collision, his body almost did not move at all. Though their mental energy were quite formidable, they were lacking in comparison to Lin Dong. Furthermore, with regards to physical strength, after Lin Dong mastered Bronze Thunder Body and Demonic Ape Transformation, one slap from him was enough to send the two of them flying miles away. Mental Energy When he saw that his two subordinates had been easily blown away, a tinge of shock flashed across Hua Zong's eyes. Then, he stared somewhat peculiarly at Lin Dong before he said, Oh, so you are a symbol master as well. Lin Dong glanced at him, before he ignored him and directly proceeded to walk out of the Thousand Treasure Tower. When he saw Lin Dong's actions, that Hua Zong's face darkened. His hands suddenly viciously grabbed forth, before his powerful mental energy directly turned into a dark giant hand and grabbed towards Lin Dong's head. Bang! When he saw that incoming dark mental energy giant hand, Lin Dong's eyes gleamed as a formidable mental energy gushed out from his Nguyen palace and slammed against that giant hand. Immediately, a powerful mental energy shockwave erupted causing several onlookers to hurriedly retreat. You are indeed skilled. When he saw Lin Dong easily deflecting his mental energy attack, that Hua Zong coldly snorted. However, just as he was about to make his move again, a cold roar suddenly echoed out. Hua Zong, this is my thousand treasure tower. If you dare to mess around again, today, I will expel you. Lin Dong tilted his head only to see that the man who was shouting, was indeed Grandmaster Chen. Haha, <laughs> since Grandmaster Chen has spoken, Hua Zong will naturally respect your wishes. Hua Zong casually smiled and he did not attack again. After all, Grandmaster Chen had a pretty solid reputation in Great Puppet City. Therefore, it would not be wise to overly offend him. Immediately, he waved his hands at his two subordinates before he directly exited the Thousand Treasure Tower. However, just as he walked past Lin Dong, his footsteps gently halted before a microscopic voice entered into the latter's ears. If you change your mind, feel free to look for me. I truly hope to prevent the worst case outcome from occurring. Nonetheless, if someone shows no understanding of the times, then perhaps. My ghastly puppet sect will be interested in your corpse. As he stared at Hua Zong who was walking past him, Lin Dong's eyes gradually turned cold. Chapter 248, Secret of the Praying Mat As Hua Zong left, the people surrounding the lobby, who had come to watch the excitement, also dispersed. However, before they dispersed, the gazes with which they looked at Lin Dong were tinged with a little pity. Offending Hua Zong in Great Puppet City was not a fun matter, do not judge him based on his young age, over these years, many people had died at his hands. All in all, he could be considered a tyrant in Great Puppet City. 
Lin Dong's expression was calm, unaffected by the surrounding gazes. His thinking was very clear-cut, now that he was without any family and all by himself, no matter how powerful the ghastly puppet cult was, he could also run if he could not beat them. The great desolate province was so huge, how could that ghastly puppet cult possibly comb it inch by inch just to find him? Kid, you should be careful, no one can help you in with these things. However, let me give you a word of advice, it will be best to leave Great Puppet City as early as possible. Hua Zong does not have much tolerance, and is greedy by nature. He will use all means to obtain anything he fancies, hence, quickly leaving this place will be much safer for you. Grand Master Cheng walked near to Lin Dong and warned him in an indifferent tone. Many thanks to Grand Master. Lin Dong smiled a little, and politely clasped his hands together towards Grand Master Cheng. He naturally did not hope that the latter would truly be able to step in and help him solve these troubles. After all, they were strangers who had met by chance, and the fact that Grand Master Chen had warned him was already not bad at all. Therefore, after cupping his fists in thanks, Lin Dong directly walked out of the Thousand Treasure Tower. As he stood at the entrance, a pondering expression was revealed on his face. No matter how alone he was, he still after all needed to be a little more cautious. Now that he had offended Hua Zong, he should not be able to linger for long in Great Puppet City. Of course, Lin Dong did not leave immediately. Hua Zong's words from before were clearly aimed to make Lin Dong understand the disparity between them, and hence cause him to take the initiative to hand over the ancient heavenly scales halberd. Although Lin Dong saw this as Hua Zong being delusional, he could borrow this time and optimize his condition. For example, sorting out the spirit accumulation praying mat he had obtained from the auction. If he was able to obtain some benefit from it, even if Hua Zong made a move, Lin Dong would have more cards to play. As these thoughts flashed across his head, Lin Dong did not hesitate any longer, and straightaway headed towards the inn he was staying at. Along the way, feel watching eyes from extremely hidden places. He knew that these should be the spies that Hua Zong had arranged. Given his status in Great Puppet City, every little matter would be reported to him, and this should also be why he believed that Lin Dong would be unable to escape the palm of his hand. Lin Dong did not mind this surveillance, and directly returned to the inn, before tightly shutting the room door. Without further ado, he sat on the bed, and with a flick of his hand, the old yellow spirit accumulation praying mat appeared before him, as he icily snorted, All right, next, it's time to see what you can do. If this thing bought with 100,000 pure yuan pills is not the least be useful, let's see how you will repay me. Little Martin unhurriedly flew out from the stone talisman in Lin Dong's palm, before standing on top of the praying mat. Its little claw scratched its face, as it let out a dry cough, let's look at it together. Lin Dong rolled his eyes, ignoring it as his gaze concentrated on the spirit accumulation praying mat. It appeared an old yellow color, and looked it had some history. Threads of cooling energy flowed out from the praying mat, this kind of energy had no reaction to Yuan power, but when it touched mental energy, it would feel as if one dipping into ice water, causing one's mind to feel coldly refreshed. Yet, besides this, Lin Dong did not discover any other use, which caused his expression to turn black. Did he really spend 100,000 pure Yuan pills to buy this broken thing? Try using mental energy to access it. Little Martin probed. It's useless, I have no idea what this praying mat is made of, mental energy cannot enter it. Lin Dong casually replied. Little Martin was a little vexed as it scratched its fur. It was a little embarrassed as it stared at the symbols on the praying mat which even it felt was extremely complicated and cryptic. Little Martin understood that if it was not for its instigation, Lin Dong would definitely not have spent 100 pure Yuan pills to buy an item of unknown capabilities. How about trying to use fire to burn it for a while? Little Martin gave a rather rancid idea. In response, Lin Dong stared at it for quite some time, before finally speaking in a calm voice, Are you paying if it gets burnt? Little Martin helplessly spread out its claws. It was also alone, 
and in fact, even more alone than Lin Dong. God damn it, upon seeing that even this guy had learnt this mannerisms, Lin Dong could not help but laugh at himself a little. In the end, he could only retrieve the candle on the table, and very carefully place it under the praying mat. However, even under the flame, the praying mat did not show any signs of burning, yet, at the same time, no special phenomenon appeared. Evidently, using fire to burn it was also useless. Didn't you say that there seems to be something within this praying mat? Upon seeing this sight, Lin Dong was somewhat unwilling as he inquired. It indeed feels that way, however, it is similar to a locked treasure chest. Even if I know that there a treasure inside, we are unable to open to lock. Little Martin helplessly replied. After hearing this, Lin Dong was somewhat disappointed. This damned praying mat, nothing seemed to be able to enter it, fire did not work, and even tearing it apart was not possible. What was the use of knowing that it was a little special? You can slowly fiddle with it, while I cultivate for a while. We will leave Great Puppet City tomorrow, I'm afraid we cannot stay for long in this place. After once again spending some effort on the spirit accumulation praying mat, Lin Dong finally chose to give up. There was currently an enemy eyeing him, and he needed to ensure that his condition was good at all times, how could he possibly waste too much time on these fruitless actions? Okay. Little Martin nodded its head, its eyebrows tightly knitting together as it observed the praying mat, in hopes of unraveling this strange object. Meanwhile, Lin Dong slowly closed his eyes and started his daily cultivation routine. As Lin Dong entered into cultivation mode, the room became quiet. Little Martin seemed to be infatuated with this strong praying mat, directly seating on it, as its gaze continuously followed the complex symbols in hopes of discovering the special effects and uses of these symbols. In the blink of an eye, a night stealthily passed in this silent manner, while the humongous city once again grew noisy. When Lin Dong exited from his cultivation state, he found a red-eyed little Martin, and was taken aback, as he hastily asked in a careful manner, Are you all right? The current little Martin's eyes were red, as it unwaveringly stared at the strange praying mat. From this appearance, it was as if it had not closed its eyes for the entire night. Little Martin did not take the least bit notice of Lin Dong's inquiry. Its eyes were fixed on the praying mat, as if its mind was stuck inside the mat. In fact, even its breathing had become a little hurried. Lin Dong was clearly a little frightened by Little Martin's state. Ever since he had known it, this was the first time he had seen this kind of appearance on the little Martin which liked to call itself Grandfather Martin, and mention its extraordinary background. However, although he was a little worried about little Martin's current state, Lin Dong did not recklessly disturb it, and instead silently waited to one side, worry thick in his eyes. He had truly taken this guy, who he had lived together with for over a year, as a friend. Under Lin Dong's worried gaze, Little Martin stared at the praying mat, its body completely still. After about half an hour, it finally sat down on the praying mat, and lifted its head, red eyes staring at Lin Dong in excitement, as it laughed, Grandfather Martin has said that this is a treasure, yet you still don't believe it. You've unraveled it. Lin Dong was taken aback upon hearing this, as he hastily asked. With Grandfather Martin working on it, how can there possibly be anything that I can't solve? Little Martin proudly replied. How do I use this thing? Lin Dong very carefully inquired. Kid, grab the praying mat, and pour both you and power and mental energy into it. Remember, you need to pour in these two types of energy at the same time, while maintaining the balance between them. Little Martin flicked its claw, sending the praying mat towards Lin Dong as it explained. Oh. Receiving the praying mat, Lin Dong a little skeptical. This was the first time he had encountered such a strange method, however, he did not delay, as his hands grabbed onto the praying mat. His mind moved, as Yuan power and mental energy simultaneously poured into the praying mat. Pop! As the two energies were poured it, a light flashed on the praying mat, before disappearing with a pop. This. Upon seeing this scene, 
Lin Dong was stunned. Fool, I already told you that you need to maintain the balance between the two energies. Sending them in one stronger and one weaker, how can you call that balance? To one side, the little Martin rolled its eyes and scolded after seeing this. This word balance is not as easy to control as you say it is. Lin Dong helplessly said. Anyways, if you cannot achieve balance, you will have no way to discover the mystery of this praying mat. Little Martin impatiently urged. Balance indeed contained the essence of the world. It was easy to talk about controlling it, but, this was the only way. In response, Lin Dong could only let out a bitter laugh, and once again try to control the balance between the two. Little Martin had toiled on this praying mat for a whole night, and he could possibly give up so easily. It must be said, that maintaining the balance between the two powers was no simple matter. After failing dozens of times, Lin Dong's expression slowly turned to one of concentration. He was usually extremely stubborn, and he would not easily speak of giving up. Hence, Lin Dong spent the entire day with the praying mat. Two energies were tirelessly poured into the praying mat, and as he endlessly poured them in, he gradually began to sense this so-called feeling of balance. After all, practice makes perfect, and after failing for hundreds and thousands of times, one would be able to slowly discover what path to take. Pop! As he watched yet another light from the praying mat flicker and fade into nothingness, Lin Dong was not frustrated at all. He lifted his hands to pour in energy again, and his mind moved, as a portion of Yuan power and mental energy practically poured into the praying mat at the same moment. Pop! On the praying mat, light once again flashed. However, just when Lin Dong thought he had failed, and was preparing for the next infusion, the light on the praying mat suddenly grew brighter, as a strange undulation that caused Lin Dong's scalp to turn a little numb, slowly spread out from the light. Chapter 249, Yuan Essence Energy There was a glow on the praying mat while a strange heart-palpitating vibration slowly spread out. Then, from the center of that praying mat, an approximately fist-sized peculiar mixed energy source slowly formed. What is that? Lin Dong stared blankly at that mixed energy source that was appearing in the center of that praying mat. Right now, he was at a complete loss. He had never expected that such an object would appear after he poured in his Yuan power and mental energy at a perfect ratio into the praying mat. This is the power of fusion. Little Martin stared right at that peculiar energy source on the praying mat, before it excitedly exclaimed, Damn, this praying mat is truly incredible. It is actually able to fuse Yuan power and mental energy together. Even at my peak, I was unable to accomplish such a feat. Who exactly was the one who created this praying mat? He could actually accomplish such a feat. Is the fused energy source very powerful? Lin Dong carefully asked. Extremely powerful. Little Martin solemnly nodded its head and said, Most people are unable to perfectly fuse two different types of energy together. The only ones who can do so are undoubtedly the top elite practitioners. Right now, based on your current strength, the might of your fused energy is limited. However, if you use it correctly, its might will even exceed that of your final ancient heavenly scales halberd technique. When he heard those words, a tinge of shock flashed across Lin Dong's eyes. It seems like fusion was not as simple as a mere addition. Inside this spirit accumulation praying mat, there should be an extremely complex magical formation that helps you to fuse these two types of energy. Unfortunately, we are unable to learn the secrets of this formation. Else, if we could study and understand it, perhaps we can fuse the two different types of energy within your body. At that time, you will be unparalleled below the heavens. Little Martin's eyes were feverish. Evidently, it had never expected that there was such a powerful item inside this tiny praying mat. Furthermore, at his peak, it had tried to fuse these two types of energy together. However, in the end, it was unable to do so. Therefore, this goes to show just how complex fusion is. Lin Dong quietly nodded his head, 
before he stretched his palm out and gently grabbed onto that peculiar energy that was hovering above the praying mat. Though this energy source was not very forceful, the vibrations that it gave off caused one to be fearful of underestimating it. That mixed colored energy source was hovering above Lin Dong's palm. As this energy source was fused from his own mental energy and Yuan power, it did not resist Lin Dong's commands. Since this peculiar energy is fused from mental energy and Yuan power, let's call it Yuan essence energy, Lin Dong played with that mixed energy source in his hand, before he suddenly smiled and pressed his palm on a tabletop. Immediately, a soft pop sound echoed out, before that solid wooden table was instantly blown into bits. Such destructive power! When he saw this sight, the smile on Lin Dong's face grew. Even though the item hidden within this praying mat was not a martial arts as he had expected, this fusion ability has far surpassed any item he could dream of. The destructive potential of this Yuan essence energy far exceeds that of Yuan power or mental energy alone. However, even though this item was extremely powerful, it required a substantial amount of Yuan power and mental energy. Previously, Lin Dong had poured in a substantial amount of Yuan power and mental energy. However, the Yuan essence energy that was fused was merely the size of a fist. Kid, Grandpa Martin is never wrong. If you take this praying mat to the auction house now, disregarding creation stage practitioners, even Nirvana stage practitioners will be fighting over it. A few million pure Yuan pills will still be a cheap price. Little Martin Cockley said. Based on its facial expression, it was evidently extremely proud. Great eyesight. Lin Dong raised his thumbs as he generously praised Little Martin. Even though he did not know exactly how valuable this praying mat's fusion ability was, he deduced that it would be pretty terrifying. In fact, a hundred thousand pure Yuan pills would likely amount to nothing. Right now, it should be time to leave. That Hua Zong has not received any news for one whole day. He should be getting impatient soon, after he stretched his back, Lin Dong stood up as he solemnly said. Inside the Great Puppet City, there were several elite practitioners from Ghastly Puppet Cult. Therefore, it was somewhat dangerous to stay here and it was best to leave as soon as possible. After all, the moment when the Great Wasteland's ancient tablet's seal weakens is approaching. Therefore, it would be good to use this time to train outside. After he made his decision, without further ado, he swiped his palm. Immediately, Little Flame, who was laying on his bed like a little kitten, dashed forth and jutted into his arms. Then, Little Martin also transformed into a rainbow flash and returned to the stone talisman in his hand. After he slightly tidied the items in the room, Lin Dong directly exited the inn. However, when he left the inn, there was an additional straw hat on his head. Then, he headed out of Great Puppet City. Along the way, Lin Dong did not encounter any resistance as he successfully left the city. However, Lin Dong did not rejoice over this fact. Instead, his eyebrows began to gently furrow. He understood that based on Hua Zong's status in Great Puppet City, it was extremely easy for him to monitor a person in the city. Perhaps, right after he left the inn, he had already been discovered by the former's spy. However, what perplexed him was why that Hua Zong did not choose to stop him in the city. After all, Great Puppet City was his home base and he would have a much better chance of victory if he had made his move in there. With these doubts in his mind, Lin Dong began to turn increasingly cautious. As he stared at the large pathway ahead of him, he suddenly swerved and directly darted into the dense forest on his left, before he upped his speed. Just like a black shadow, he traversed through the woods. This trip lasted for several minutes before a cold breeze suddenly blew across Lin Dong's head, causing the former's footsteps to halt immediately. His body was just like a spring as he rebounded several meters back. Swoosh swoosh! Just as Lin Dong's body rebounded, arrows, filled with a bloody smell, lightning quick flew towards him from within the dense forest, before it viciously struck at the point where Lin Dong had previously stood it. Those arrows struck deep into the ground, as their tails continuously vibrated. As he faced this sudden sneak attack, Lin Dong's eyes grew increasingly dark. 
It seems like that Hua Zong does not intend to let him off easily. Sai, Lin Dong brother, your decision has truly let me down, just as Lin Dong's eyes turned cold, the trees ahead of him began to shake before a dozen over figures emerged. One of them seemed somewhat disappointed, as he stared at Lin Dong, who was nearby, and softly sighed. Hua Zong. Lin Dong stared at that man before his eyes turned increasingly dark. Then, his eyes swept across the dozen of people ahead of him, before his pupils began to shrink. That was because, he discovered that this time, among the crew that Hua Zong had brought, there was an initial form creation stage practitioner and two advanced form creation stage practitioner. In addition to Hua Zong's own formidable strength, this lineup was truly terrifying. It seems like Hua Zong was truly eager to obtain his ancient heavenly scales halberd. Else, he would not have bothered summoning so many elite practitioners. As he faced this lineup, even Lin Dong felt somewhat troubled. Moreover, he knew that there was definitely a pretty powerful symbol puppet in Hua Zong's possession. Therefore, if they attacked him together, it would be quite difficult for him just to escape. Snort, does this kid really think that he can easily escape from custodian Hua Zong? The only reason why we did not attack you in the city was because we were worried that the Great Devil Sect or Marital Alliance would intervene. Else, don't even dream of taking a step out of the city. One of the advanced form creation stage practitioner, with a curved eagle nose, started hideously at Lin Dong as he chuckled. Kid, it's best for you to surrender now or else you would surely suffer. Based on your current strength, it is impossible for you to escape from us. The other advanced form creation stage practitioner coldly chuckled. Lin Dong's face was solemn as a glint flashed across his eyes. Then, he immediately turned and began to flee. Lin Dong brother, even though I am disappointed by your decision, let me give you one final chance. Hand over that praying mat and ancient halberd, and be my slave for one year. Then, I will let you live. How about it? Hua Zong started right at Lin Dong, with a sadistic glint in his eyes, just like he was a cat tormenting a mouse. Evidently, he had every confidence in his lineup. Furthermore, Lin Dong was only at initial from creation stage. Even if he were at initial qi creation stage, he would have a tough time escaping from him. All right. With regards to Hua Zong's torment, Lin Dong suddenly smiled and replied. If that is the case, when he heard his reply, Hua Zong's eyes twinkled before his voice suddenly turned cold, do it, kill him now. Evidently, Hua Zong somewhat understood Lin Dong's personality. Therefore, he knew that Lin Dong was merely teasing him with his reply. Immediately, he did not give Lin Dong any opportunity to retort, before he waved his palm and commanded. Contained within his voice, was a thick killing intent. Bang! After Hua Zong spoke, those two advanced form creation stage practitioners immediately grinned. Then, just like two vultures swooping towards their prey, they dashed towards Lin Dong while a thick Yuan power exploded from within their hands. When those two advanced form creation stage practitioner attacked, the rest of their facial expressions turned hideous too as they slowly spread out. They were all moving in sync and faintly, they managed to cut off all of Lin Dong's escape routes. It seems like this time, the crew members brought by Hua Zong were all fairly skilled. Hua Zong stood on a tree branch with his hands hugging onto his chest. His eyes were cold like a wolf as he stared at Lin Dong, who was being surrounded. A grin was similarly plastered on his lips. Huff. As he stared at the Yuan power vibration that were approaching in from every direction, Lin Dong took in a deep breath as his face turned increasingly solemn. It seems like he was in a truly dangerous situation today. However, it would not be so easy to kill him. Chapter 250, Encirclement Bang! Vigorous Yuan power erupted in the forest, as the three form creation stage practitioners practically moved at the same time. Formidable attacks were aimed at Lin Dong's vital points from all directions, while the dead trees on the ground were instantly turned to dust. Kid, lay down your arms obediently. 
The eagle nose form creation stage practitioner's face was full of malevolence, as he looked towards Lin Dong as if he was a prey that was about to be obtained. Lin Dong's aura was weaker than his bioteer, furthermore, the three of them were attacking together. From his point of view, Lin Dong had no chance to escape. However, things did not go as he had expected. Lin Dong did not show any signs of escaping, instead, a cold light flowed on his calm face, before a resplendent gold light suddenly exploded. Buzz! Golden light burst forth, as a huge golden platform suddenly floated ahead of Lin Dong. Quickly, he extended his hands, and actually grabbed onto the golden platform, before ruthlessly slapping it towards the charging trio like a windmill. Bang! The trio's formidable palm strikes landed heavily on the golden platform. In the instance that they made contact, the trio's expressions simultaneously changed abruptly. They could clearly feel an extremely terrifying force flowing from the golden platform, and violently dashing towards their bodies. A ferocious wind spread out in midair, as the Eagle Nose Man trio's bodies actually flew backwards. Their feet pointed several times in the air, before they finally landed on the ground hideously. This kid possessed such overwhelming brute force. When they landed on the ground, the trio looked at each other. Right now, all of them could also see the shock in each other's eyes. Evidently, they had never expected that their combined might would be forcefully jolted back by a mere initial form creation stage kid. Interesting. Atop the tree branch, the sneer on Hua Zong's face turned a little more intense when he saw this scene. The more strength Lin Dong displayed, the more interested Hua Zong would be. If Lin Dong was easily dealt with in two or three moves, it would be truly too boring. Crash! The golden platform moved as if it was full of power, as Lin Dong icily stared at the three figures. In the previous clash, he had been pushed back several steps. The combined powers of three form creation stage practitioners was not weak indeed. However, it was far from enough to make him stay. Don't tarry any more, kill him. The Eagle Nose Man trio were clearly used to working together against an enemy, as their teamwork was extremely good. After exchanging a glance at each other, their figures suddenly swept forth. Vigorous Yuan power erupted forth, transforming into three huge Yuan power palms, which ferociously slapped down at Lin Dong at the same time. Clang clang! Lin Dong's gaze turned a little more chilly, as the skin on his body quietly turned bronze green. Immediately, his power once again surged. With the golden platform dancing in the air, it directly smashed towards the three Yuan power palms in an extremely forceful manner. After smashing that three Yuan power palms, Lin Dong's arm suddenly flung, as the golden platform in his hand was ruthlessly thrown. His target were the two advanced form creation stage practitioners. The golden platform swept across the air with terrifying force. As a result, even the two advanced form creation stage practitioners did not dare to be the slightest bit negligent, as they hastily extended their hands, before they heavily slammed against the golden platform. Bang! Just as the two clashed with the golden platform, Lin Dong Lightning Quick appeared before the initial form creation stage practitioner. A cold light flashed in his eyes as a simple punch filled with astonishing power smashed into the initial form creation stage practitioner's chest. P.U. Chi Lin Dong's punch was heavy as a mountain, and even an initial form creation stage practitioner could not endure it. Immediately, the unlucky guy's expression paled, as he violently vomits a mouthful of blood, his body flying backwards, and ruthlessly smashing into a huge towering tree. His body curled up in pain, evidently, his wounds were not light. Lin Dong's attack was done in a flash. When the other two advanced form creation stage practitioners regained their wits, they saw their companion being heavily injured, at which they immediately burst into anger. Kill him! Upon hearing the two's furious roars, the dozen or so surrounding figures immediately lifted the bows in their hands, targeting Lin Dong, as Yuan power gushed forth, and numerous bloody arrows shot towards the latter. Humph! Lin Dong coldly snorted as he sensed these arrows. Within his Nguyen Palace, 
mental energy rushed forth, and the arrows instantly froze in mid-air, before turning around under his control, and flying back to where to came from at an even more ferocious speed. Plop plop! Arrows violently returned, immediately boring holes through some unfortunate fellows, as their bodies fell to down from the trees to the ground. Just as Lin Dong used mental energy to withstand the arrows, a ferocious force once again swiftly swept towards him. The two advanced form creation stage practitioners had once more attacked at the same moment, as a powerful force enveloped Lin Dong's body. Bang bang! Golden Yuan power wrapped Lin Dong's body, and his firsts were like mountains. Every time they punched forth, a low explosion sounded out. When they collided against the two advanced form creation stage practitioners, a frightening gale unfurled outwards, causing the dirt on the ground to fill the air. Atop the tree branch, Hua Zong gazed down upon the extremely intense battle, as a look of concentration gradually appeared in his cold eyes. Lin Dong merely had the strength of the initial form creation stage, yet, he had withstood two advanced form creation stage practitioner's attacks, and had even found an opportunity to injure an initial form creation stage practitioner. If this battle result was spread, it would be enough to make his name shake Great Puppet City. From the way the color of his skin changes, it should be a type of body enhancing Marshall's art, no wonder his raw power is so overwhelming. It will likely be able to match up to those guys of the Great Devil sect. You are indeed quite capable, no wonder you dare to disregard my words. However, before my ghastly puppet cult, Every genius ultimately becomes nothing but thrash, Hua Zong stared at that intense battle below, while the grin on his face slowly grew. Boom! Lin Dong's bronze green fist viciously collided with the eagle-nosed duo's palm attack, before a terrifying Yuan power vibration exploded forth. Promptly, the three of their bodies were blown back, as they hurriedly tried to stabilize themselves. Lin Dong retreated four steps. However, just as he made his final step, a cold breeze suddenly emerged behind him. Immediately, inside his Nguyen Palace, an extremely powerful mental energy exploded from his four soul symbols, before they formed an extremely solid mental energy barrier behind him. Squeak! The instant he formed his mental energy barrier, a piercing squeaking sound swiftly echoed out, as three grayish narrow blades, filled with a menacing killing aura stealthily flew towards him. However, when those three sharp grayish narrow blades encountered the mental energy barrier, their sped immediately dropped. Taking advantage of the drop in pace, Lin Dong's figure suddenly flashed. Then, these three narrow blades filled with a bone-chilling aura exploded forth, before they narrowly missed Lin Dong's head. Haha, <laughs> good reflexes. A narrow blade penetrated through the air and hovered in mid-air before Hua Zong's figure slowly drifted forth and stepped onto it. Then, staring at Lin Dong, he said with a twinkly smile on his face. When he saw Hua Zong's expression, Lin Dong's eyes twinkled. Evidently, the former was about to make his move. Right now, he was in a somewhat tense situation. Even though he had injured the initial form creation stage practitioner, however, Hua Zong and the two advanced form creation stage practitioners remain the real threat. Therefore, if the three of them attacked together, coupled with Hua Zong's sneaky mental energy attacks, even Lin Dong would be somewhat troubled. Moreover, there were still several of Hua Zong's gang around, continuously eyeing him. Once he revealed an opening, it would probably lead to a deadly blow. Therefore, this fight cannot be dragged on. Lin Dong's eyes gently glimmered, before his facial expression suddenly turned solemn. Then, ignoring the two advanced form creation stage practitioners, he gripped his palm before his ancient heavenly scales halberd immediately appeared. With a golden glow, the size of his halberd directly swelled by two times, before Lin Dong's figure lightning quick merged with his halberd and transformed into a rainbow flash. With a powerful and unstopped force wind, he viciously stabbed towards Hua Zong, who was hovering on a narrow blade. When he saw Lin Dong's menacing incoming attack, that Hua Zong coldly chuckled and he did not forcefully counter his attack. Instead, his figure flashed before he dodged it immediately. However, 
the instance when he dodged, he was suddenly hit with a realization. Once he dodged, he had created an opening in his enclosure. Ha ha, Hua Zong. If you want the ancient halberd in my hands, then feel free to chase after me. I shall entertain you. However, by the time he had realized this, it was already too late. Immediately, Lin Dong took advantage of the opening created, before his figure flashed and lightning quick darted into the vast woodlands. Then, a cold chuckle sounded out from a distance. Chase after him. I want this kid's life. As he stared at Lin Dong's disappearing figure, Hua Zong's face gradually turned increasingly hideous and dark. Promptly, he waved his hand, before a menacing voice, coupled with a skull-numbing chill slowly sounded out. After he spoke, he immediately took charge and lightning quick dashed into the woodlands. Behind him, the two advanced form creation stage practitioners hastily nodded their hands, before they followed behind him with hideous looks. They had arranged such a formidable lineup, yet they were unable to trap a mere initial form creation stage practitioner. If they really let him escape, then in the future, wouldn't they become the butt of jokes? Therefore, this person must die. 